Doug, I gotta tell you, this match here embodies the spirit of PWX. And, and a guy delirious with a mask, who knows what this guy's doing? Where's he coming from? What's wrong with this guy, Eric? Oh, I don't know. I gotta tell you, you have Mike Keener in the ring, one of the, the, the preeminent officials in the business today, one of the best that professional wrestling has to offer. We all know his history. You have Delirious, who is making a name for himself all over the world, Doug. He has wrestled in all kinds of countries, Austria, Canada, England, Germany, Japan, of course, the United States. And then you have my man, Double C, Claudio Constignoli, Doug. He has trained with some of the best in this business, which includes the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, the Honky Tonk Man. Tremendous. Yes, you may, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, Doug Gentry. I'm feeling lucky tonight. Well, then you're going to see a shake rattle the bowl. Oh, that would be absolutely fabulous and tremendous. Yes. Is Peggy Sue coming to the ringside? I don't know, but he's been telling me for the last three years he's going to do one of these shake rattles and rolls, and I still have yet to see one. But not the, like, uh, cut you off like you did in the beginning there. You know, the matches like this do embody the spirit of PWX because what I've neglected to say is these two guys are tremendous athletes and tremendous wrestlers. Oh, yeah. And it's, the pace has been set already. Let's see if it can go up another level here. But this is, I bet you're going to be a little bit different. This is going to be more grounded, more scientific. But you never know what you're going to get at a PWX show. You're going to get hardcore. You're going to get high flying. You're going to get strong style. It's a mixed bag of everything here, and that's what makes this show so good. Absolutely. Well, Claudio, of course, the disciple of Chris Hero, who we'll see later tonight. And like Chris, he's a very technical wrestler, likes to find one body part, work it over, pick his spots, very cerebral. The same word that you used earlier for Christopher Daniels. Reminds me a lot of Christopher Daniels. Delirious Doug, he can fly, he's a high flyer, he's a grappler, he's got a little bit of everything. He's a barker, he's a growler, he's a biter, he'll do it all. Double C with the upper hand here. Hey, only his friends are allowed to call him Double C, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he doesn't understand English. Go ahead. <laughs> double C. Oh, now Delirious has reversed it right here. And Double C with the big reverse takes down Delirious. And you see Double C there, instead of going for the pin, decides to go to work on a body part. And have you ever heard any of these Delirious promos? No, I haven't, actually. Tremendous. He's so articulate. Wow, well, so is Claudio. Have you ever talked to Claudio for more than five minutes? Well, I'm not his friend. I can't even call him Double C. Well, I don't know what he's saying, but he's very articulate. You know, he is Swiss. Yes, absolutely. Well, Doug, you have to watch out, Doug, of course, for the re coli bomb. That is a move that he's used to finish off many matches. The E. coli bomb? The re coli bomb. You know, like, re coli. You know, like, re coli. Oh, like oh, I thought it was like the disease, the disease that you find in spinach. No, no. Sorry. Uh, but, uh, hey, you see, Delirious is going absolutely crazy out there. And then, of course, Doug, Claudio being Swiss, of course, he is a master of the Swiss uppercut. And you know what else is being Swiss? He's neutral. That's, that's correct. <laughs> he is neutral. Ooh, going for a big clothesline. A big high cross body from Delirious. Hooks the leg. No. And Delirious, Doug, I wonder if Delirious is going to tire himself out with all this running around. I mean, he's doing these laps around. I mean, he's a track and field star. What's this guy doing? You know, I really don't know, Doug. This is the very first time I've ever seen Delirious wrestle. I know you've seen him a few times or no? Um, I think I've seen him a couple times, yes. Yeah, this is the very first time I've seen him wrestle. I have done my research on him. I tried to talk to him a little bit to try and understand a little bit of his game. But tonight, as we talked about before, this match just truly about the spirit of competition here in PWX. These two guys, to my knowledge, have never wrestled before. There are no beefs between one another. But Doug, it is very difficult to come back from an 0-1 record down the line here in PWX. You really need to start off our first show here lighting the fuse with a 1-0 record. Claudio, he can't have a beef with anybody. He's neutral. All right. OK. One, one too many times in a well with that comment. <laughs> Way to kill the gimmick, Doug. And look at this move. He's just twisting, trying to rip that arm right off. He's old school right there, Doug. Going to work on the arm, going to work with the leg. And you see Claudio now having a good time with the fans, yelling at the fans. Claudio, Doug, I talked about Christopher Daniels earlier being a tag team specialist. Claudio, a tag team specialist as of late with Chris Hero wrestling all over the world. So it'd be interesting, Doug, because I've watched a lot of Claudio matches. I've caught a lot of Claudio matches. But really, Doug, make success as a singles wrestler, a lot of success as a tag team wrestler. And look at him working on that hand, his fingers, that wrist right there. And he has a lot of Chris Heroism in there. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, and look at look at how his body is positioned where he has Delirious down on his knees where Delirious, it's gonna be very hard for him to counter. He's got his leg draped over the back of Delirious' head, which may cut off some oxygen. It's very hard to breathe from down there with a mask on. I mean, he truly is a tactician.